Hey, this is David Richter Scale Studios. Uh, we're gonna do some more modding on the Ender 3 today. As you see what I got set up, we are gonna do the test on the TL smoothers. I have those over here in a cup ready to go. Uh, M36s to put them into the custom printed um, uh, motherboard cover. It's got uh, TL smoother mounts in it so it doesn't get shorted out. And we got the squash ball feet with the squash balls to put in. Got my hardware to install those. These are M5 holes with, I uh, got some M5 hammer nuts in my little trusty salsa cup. Uh, tools ready to go. Oh, and a little preview. I'm gonna do LEDs on this eventually. This is a, um, let me go back, let's go to a print bed cam. Let me just read that, I got so much lighting in here now. Thanks again for uh, using my Amazon uh, affiliate links. I got some uh, lights so I don't look so in the shadows and uh, creepy and ill anymore. <laughs> so this is a DC converter. This uh, takes 12 volts and puts it down to 12. So we can use regular um, LED strips that I've been gonna put on the CR10. And this is the same uh, rocker switch, but in a different color, obviously. I'm gonna put on the side here. Oh, let me see, put this. I'm gonna put it right next to the um, SD card holder. It'll be convenient and since the squash feet are going to be on, it's going to raise it up probably at least an uh, inch and a half, two inches. I can run um, the wires over to the uh, power supply with some spiraling. But well, that's going to be a separate video. There's a little preview on that. So let's get this thing going. So uh, first thing to do always with your printer is unplug it. And no spools on it. I've always uh, maybe had a couple mishaps with that, forgetting the spools on it. And stuff is falling apart. Let's bring this around without breaking anything. And we got some, I think that's a, let's see what we got. I'll bring the light, let's see here, there we go. I'm getting washed out by one of the lights, let me move that a little bit. Is it that one? There, that's better. You can still see me, good. Maybe I only need one light. So we have these rubber feet on here. I want to get rid of those because I want these on the corners as much as possible. So it gives it as much stability. Let's uh, put it over here. You can see my face is in the way. And so I'm going to rip those off. I happen to have some silicone impregnated wax paper for some other hobby stuff. So we can save these just in case we want to go back to it and some of this adhesion will be left on these. These come off pretty easily. I don't think I'm going to bother cleaning that off. I'm only going to do a couple on camera that will come back. Um, let me see if I can... Let's go that way. There we go. And I can see my dumb face and that at the same time. So let's... Uh, what is the easiest way? To, we could probably do it that way. Probably just do one. I'll be enough excitement for one little segment here. And we'll come back and do some printing. So these are... I'll put links to a lot of the stuff that I'm using. These are some uh, hex M5 by uh, eights. And be, these are perfect for putting in these um, aluminum extrusions and the M5 hammer nut. I had to edit for a second. I had a coughing fit. Um, I live in a part of Northern California where I am northeast of the Yosemite fire, very safely far away, and southeast of the Redding fire, still safely far away, but uh, with the, any kind of breeze or anything, uh, we live in like a haze of smoke up here and it is killing my throat. And best wishes and um, prayers to all those people. It's uh, terrible what's going on in California right now. So I'm back I'm getting water. I'll be sipping water off and on. It is just crazy um, smoky here. So we got this. I um, just want to show oh, this the impregnated wax paper. Uh, <laughs> It's for making grass tufts. If someone's in a war game, they'll know what I'm talking about with static grass. Uh, I will put links to the uh, hardware I'm using, Fuller Craig um, M5s and some generic M5 hammer nuts. I don't want to take all the stuff apart. Let me go back to the uh, print bed cam. So I'm going to try to just uh, finagle these in there. I think I noticed when I printed these on, let me go back to that cam again. My production value is a little bit better, but not perfect. So when I printed these up, 
Oh, I could have left that on. Duh, that was dumb. Bear with me, please. So when I printed these on the uh, Prusa Mark III, I did all four at the same time. We did have a slight layer shift. Um, this is ABS. This is the Iron Red by Paramount. And we had the layer shift. It's not going to affect it at all, but is this, uh, you know, I like stuff being perfect, but it's going to work. So I'll try to put these all in some kind of uh, OCD pattern so it makes sense. So maybe uh, the shifted out pattern will be on the outs. So it gives it a little more uh, support. So what I'm going to do is run the M5s through here. And maybe that shift did affect it. I haven't even tried these yet. So I have to uh, work them through here a little bit. Let me see if I get the camera back in. There we go. Yeah, I'll do this side first. See if that works. These might be too small. That's not good. Uh, we'll see. I have bigger uh, screws than this. For some reason, I thought the M8s would be perfect, or not the M M5 8 millimeter would be perfect. They usually are pretty good for any kind of. Um, we should. I should put this. So you're not seeing what I'm doing. Let's do above main. I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger for a while. That doesn't make sense. We'll do this and I'll start connecting everything. I need a uh, director producer on my uh, videos with me. So we'll do this first one and see if it's successful or not. Because I didn't think these plates were that thick when I uh, thought this out and I've been doing other accessories and they've been working perfect with these. I think we'll be okay. And that little bit of shift did affect uh, the screws going in. I mean, it's not um, detrimental to the um, project here, but dropped one. Oh, well, got a hundred more. adds a little bit more interest to the uh, task. Okay. So we have to get this all kind of like choreographed. And this fails is going to be funny. And I'm not going to edit it out. Let's see. That doesn't going to work like that. These go like this. Okay. Let's just get these on here as tentatively as possible so we have enough time to get uh, enough room to get these into the uh, extrusion slots we got half a turn perfect So let's get all these kind of lined up like that. We'll go to the uh, print bed cam. And let's see how this works. So we want that like that. That's, I have in my mind's eye. Okay, so far so good. I think we're going to be uh, golden. And if the... And do cross tightening so it goes down evenly. That one's not catching. Oh, there we go. No, we're good. I think we're good. And it's out of focus because of my hands. Yeah, these are perfect. So the eights work great with this. And I'll have links, obviously, to the... Uh, hardware and the Thingiverse files for these. And, you know, tip the designers uh, if you uh, have the means. It's always good to uh, help people that do this. I've done a couple little designs that 
I've got a couple chips on. It's kind of cool. So I'm just going to uh, do the rest of these, and we'll come back and see how it looks. I'll show you um, really quick on camera. Here's the ABS printed foot. Here's the Techna fiber ball. And they do kind of go in funky. You kind of got to work them in there. See, it kind of like sticks out kind of funny. Then uh, you got to kind of just uh, like towards the pedals. This is the trick here. If you kind of, and you just do that, it kind of pops right in and you're good. So I'm going to put this together and we'll be back and show you what it looks like. Okay, uh, we are back. I'm just finishing up tightening uh, the last one I installed. Trying to do it nicely with, um, I guess you call it cross tightening. If I learned it from my dad first or uh, Mr. Hansen in freshman auto shop in high school when you're changing a tire to make sure it um, tightens flat to whatever you're tightening it to, it's not going to be uneven. So you just keep kind of go back and forth from corner to corner, side to side, and get it nailed down. And I can just do a quick once over on all the rest of these. And also, ABS kind of has a little bit of give to it. I might be off frame for a second. But I think we're good. Yeah, those are all tight. So let's get this thing back on its feet. We're on its new feet. The thing about the ender, moving this thing around is nice and light. Uh, it's, it's a little bit taller than the Prusa, but this thing weighs nothing comparatively. Let's set like that. Okay. That does look a little crazy. And can I get this more on frame here? Let's see if I can. Let's go. Let's go to uh, the main cam. Okay, we're back. Uh, we have it in a pretty good view to see everything because it is uh, a lot to cover with these little webcams. Uh, it is obviously a lot higher. I wanted to check that out. Inch and. Uh, Almost three quarters, a little under that, maybe exactly. Five eighths, an inch and five eighths, a little bit higher. Uh, when you touch this thing, it's got some, <laughs> it, 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 it's got a lot of bounce to it. So it, this thing will survive an earthquake, I think. It's got enough uh, shock absorption. I got it plugged in again. Let's turn it on. See how it, nothing new and exciting about that. The tiny machines, 1.118 something. Let's do uh, a home on it. Auto home. I know uh, I'm on mic, and this thing is so quiet. I'm used to uh, my old videos where I'm using my iPhone 6. Or I, uh, my, whatever the camera, or my uh, blue whatever uh, microphone, so you don't hear a lot except my voice. And this thing is so quiet now. So that is it. So let's get this out. I don't hate having that down like that if I'm not using it. Z it up. So I'm going to end the video here. Uh, this is uh, probably a little bit lengthy, and I want to put all the uh, concentration on the um, TL smoothers. I want to do its own video that's concentrated on that. This end up getting up in different thing uh, directions with the uh, preview of the LEDs, obviously. And the foot thing was a little bit more than I expected it to be. And I'm trying to keep these under 10 minutes. Also, uh, just to add more time to this, uh, the CR-10S is going to have these. So it has the same size. Uh, for the corners, and I think there's going to be three. It's a much a bigger uh, printer, obviously, and I think I need another one and uh, uh, some more um, squash balls. And this is for the y-axis. It's obviously uh, elevated a little bit more, probably an inch and a quarter or so. So it's going to have that on there too to stabilize everything. That'll be another video in the future too. I'm just always modding these things. A whole different hobby in itself. I'm a war game painter and uh, play a little bit of war gaming and paint. Uh, I had a, a printer bot four years ago and played with that, made little accessories here and there, then just got the bug and just started buying these. And I like these things that you can uh, trick out yourself a little bit. 
So uh, I hope you got some ideas from this. Um, <laughs> I love seeing that. Uh, and we'll be back with the uh, TL Smoother uh, video and see how that works out. I still might, I might change the model. I'm not sure on that, if you see from in my previous videos. But that's all going to be self-contained in its own. I will try not to go any um, tan uh, tangents on that, but you never know. But as usual, thank you for joining me. We'll see you in the next video.